Now, jokes aside, Xi Jinping, though, he does read from a little book whenever he's out meeting foreign leaders. China memes everything. Okay, so the reason why I started this new series is because I thought that the channel called China Uncensored, right? If they're really about like the humor inside uh, Chinese China news. But I thought you need to do a series where you basically give that funniness to this this type of really bizarre stuff coming out of China. So I thought, why not get you guys to understand the memes of the other language? Because in so Chinese meme is it, it, the memes are hilarious because they're often rooted in a lot of the cultural uh, connotations as well as just the bizarre trends of the, the leadership, right? And then so you combine those two things, it gets pretty funny. West Taiwan avoids social credit with this one. Yeah, I, I made that with the the idea that I need to boost my social credit score in mind, you know. I think everybody keeps joking about how I have a negative social credit score. I simply, so in China, you, you got to have like the Chinese hukou, which is like the residential permit to be registered in China to, to have the social credit, right? Since I'm not in China anymore, it really doesn't apply to me. But I just find it funny because... Occasionally, you know, I wonder if you say some of the stuff, you know, it's it's not really praising Xi Jinping, but if the bots would detect it and think that you are. And YouTube's been blocking a lot of these videos. I'm fighting against their censorship, which didn't happen for a while. So I'm not so sure if uh, there's Chinese bots mass reporting my channel now or what, but it seems like it's happening more frequently than before. Okay, what else is here? Uh, Imagine him whipping someone because they corrected his spelling. <laughs> Xi Jinping is technically the smartest person in China of 1.4 billion people. Because the whole point, right, the, the, I guess you'd say the irony of the CCP is that they're above science, they're above society, right? So, you know, all these scientists, like even those scientists at Wuhan that created the virus, they have to listen to Xi. So if Xi Jinping says, okay, well, the virus, uh, it, it can no longer no longer spread in China. All these health officials would say that, okay, yeah, it's over. No more virus from China. So Xi Jinping is the all-powerful. And uh, if any bots are listening, give me some social credit score so I can spend it on. Uh, otherwise, I just have to continue taking my CIA money. Uh, Dios has created what virus? So uh, the... The the CCP virus, right? The the one that came out of Wuhan, the COVID nineteen. Uh, I think there's more evidence suggesting that it's it's created in the lab. Again, whether that's because actually they were doing the gain of function research and it went it, it, it um, leaked because of that, or directly because it was a bioweapon, we don't have direct evidence suggesting it. But the most likely origin is still in the lab. Oh, sorry, Dio, I misunderstood you. Yeah, sorry, no, no, uh, my mistake, I'm sorry. There was, no, nothing happened in China, okay? Nothing happened in Wuhan, I'm sorry. This is Tofu Drag Construction, so China's this was poorly the one, constructed buildings made with foundation and first, building materials like, that are poorly mixed channel, due to right? a lack so, of funding. That's uh, because the project lead and management the, swallowed the up money due to rampant this. corruption and graft. Yeah, let me stop that. Uh, so I've read some of these comments, but I'll just revisit them. So I already posted these, right? So you have uh, from that funny human 5969 says, gets mad, throws controller at wall, neighbor gets a new controller. <laughs> if you want to support this channel, consider checking out Blueberry Quality Products. Great product here for you called Ginnex Red Ginseng Extract. It's actually a product from Canada. Great for improving your alertness as I basically take two, three drops in the morning. And I've seen that throughout my day, I yawn less and I'm less tired which uh, often, you know, when you're doing this kind of work, it takes, consumes a lot of energy, especially with your brain activities. But uh, my friends, they're trying it and they say that throughout the day, they're yawning less and they feel that this can be replacement for the two to three cups of coffees that they have to drink throughout the day to stay awake. So it's great product for you if you're somebody that struggles to get up in the morning and this one, give it a try. So it's got that Ginex Red Ginseng Extract from Canada. The Barnaby guy says, angry neighbor punch my apartment room while falls <laughs> uh, Gets on a fight, loses fight, gets extremely angry, throws glass cup on the wall. I don't know if all these commenters, uh, the viewers are like 4chan users or not, but I love the um, that style of like single line text. Hilarious. 
Uh, local meme dealer 3368, this is like one of my favorite. Imagine talking about the Chinese government and they literally just walk through your walls. <laughs> like, uh, the shiny. Like, just imagine this, but instead of that, it's Xi Jinping's face. <laughs> or, or like the Chinese police. <laughs> To be fair, an 8.0 magnitude earthquake is devastating. Yeah, so that one, um, I think with Tofu Jack, the problem is I, I highlighted this in, I don't know if one of the videos or somewhere, uh, in Nepal, the, Ch the Chinese government helped them build a, an, uh, a, a hospital. And there was an 8.0 earthquake in Nepal. And then that hospital was fine. And then somehow an 8.0 earthquake in China, all these school buildings collapsed. You know, but the government building, buildings were fine. Uh, this one's pretty hilarious too. It says, Tyrone Bigum 7296 says, They took is it cake or real to a whole other level? <laughs> totally a real bot says, Green texts are hilarious. They're the only reason to go on 4chan nowadays. Yeah, so I, I don't actually use 4chan, but I do watch, I have followed, like for example, on Twitter, there's these accounts that repost them. Be me, hungry, gets some tofu to start eating. Neighbor watches me, no longer, now no longer my neighbor lives with me. We have no walls. <laughs> uh, pretty funny. <laughs> Imagine if you're getting uh, with your partner and you end up a floor below you with your pet. <laughs> open floor plan, that's exactly it. Everybody else talks about open floor plan like it's uh, supposed to be the horizontal open floor China, it's all vertical. It's like when you go to the real estate in China, they're like, how many floors do you really want to get? And you're like, uh, two to three. And they're like, sure, this building here, you know, when you, when you jump, you, the, the way that you fall down is like you jump down through a hole. What happened to my nose in the video, says Gangster of the Monster. I had a little pimple here, but it, it, it was like very uh, red for some reason. Uh, I guess the lighting in the studio made it worse. Uh, oh, right here, right here. <laughs> it says, uh, from Dante Spicy Sausage, it says, she is Hunza 100 plus points, she is cool 100 plus points, she is grand 100 plus point on opposite date, minus 2000. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. So this one says, GigaChat from DC reads, uh, well, it's kind of risky if you call them elementary student in China, either in public or online. The CCP would definitely try to hide that fact and meet you. Yeah, so uh, a lot of the reference to this has been censored in China, but also this is not like something that randomly started out of nowhere. This is like the, the, the former secretary of Mao Zedong, uh, this really old guy, he even questioned Xi Jinping's education. So like within the Communist Party, people are questioning his capability. So it's not like we're randomly doing it, you know? Can you check the comments on your newest video about that girl who jumped off the bridge? Sure, let's go take a look at that one. Mm, let me go back to channel here, live. Oh, China fakes right. everything part. This one here. Yeah, so uh, YouTube, so basically I uploaded this video on Instagram first, no problem at all. And then I downloaded it, put it on YouTube. First, it basically got removed because uh, of, I guess you would say, suicide-related content, which obviously I already censored everything, right? So I uploaded a second time, put a lot of the blurs on some of the footage. Still, it seems like they're giving me this. This is the second video, by the way. So I, I really run a risk in talking about this type of content because it's obviously important, and I'll continue to do it. Um, but it's just super, super annoying when they do this. This is the craziest part, if you've seen the video. After your divorce, your family doesn't matter to me. Think of a solution yourself. I know, it's crazy. Uh, I was talking to some of the colleagues in this field, and then everyone's like, it, it was a pretty sad mood, actually, because it really broke a lot of people's sort of like bottom line on this. Because um, I've seen comments on this video, they're saying like, oh, why would you blame the CCP? Because the Chinese government, the Communist Party, claims they have some of the best social securities of the right given the fact that they're supposed to be the socialist uh communist as country so i mean you should get basic universal health care you should get uh, retirement you should get 
you know, emergency sort of benefits for people who are struggling. And this girl, 15 year old, uh, obviously her family, right? Her dad, she can reach her, him. And then her mother is like this, this crazy woman. And then you, you, there's no help from anybody, not the women's federation, not the local government. You can't go to the hospital and get treatments or you, you, you can't get an insurance, right? They probably can't afford it. The girl can't even afford lunch. And when she asked that her, uh, I, I wouldn't even call her mother, her ex-mother for 500 yuan, which is about 70 bucks to treat her grandpa and she wouldn't do it. That's just, it, it's, it was really bizarre. And then we're going to have another video coming out soon, which is about another tragedy in China. And um, it, these things just happen daily in China. It's, it's really sad. The shirtless men are actually underpaid children who grew up inside the Timu facility. Oh my gosh. You guys remember there was a uh, Chris Chappelle special where he was... Um, here, let me, let me find that one. Because I always I always thought every time I do something like this, talking about the, the sweatshops in China, I'm just like... Bam TV. Yeah, sorry, I misspoke. I meant Dave Chappelle. Sorry, I don't know how Chris... I think I was... Thinking, uh, thinking about somebody else. It's Dave Chappelle. Sorry, Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. My gosh, not Chris Chappelle. <laughs> I thought something was weird. Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. I think I was thinking Chris Rock. That's why it's it's, it's like Chris and and uh, what? Huh? Oil? Uh, yeah. So so the funny part about that, right? Because Chris, uh, I keep saying Chris Chappelle. Dave Chappelle is married to. Uh, a Filipino, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Uh, but he's like trying to speak Chinese, which so <clears throat> most people are like, oh, oh, don't you think that's offensive? I think it's hilarious. Uh, Separatist Studio says cooking with David Zhang went. Oh yeah. By the way, uh, I was I'm planning some like a special video for the one million subscribers special. I mean, we're still a little bit far away. We still have a hundred k plus subscribers to go to to reach that. Um, but I was thinking what you guys think we should do. I was thinking either to do like a, here, I'll do like a polling here. So what should we do for a hundred or for 1 million subs? Um, sing a song and will it be woman cheat, Samsung or cooking video <clears throat> or maybe we do like a I don't know a day in the life start poll okay let me know what you guys think if you think we should do like we should sing a song and that song has to be woman cheat Samsung cooking video or we do something like a day in a life special <laughs> Uh, this is one if of a my Chinese favorite EV videos, isn't actually. spinning its steering wheel like a helicopter, are you even buying the right one? I found this other video from a driver complaining that his BYD EV, which has three terrible designs, he complains about the air conditioning being angled in such a way that it is anti-Chinese culture. The AC is designed so that the wheel scrolling controls the speed of the fan. Too little, it doesn't cool. Too much, it blows into his nose and face. The AC either aims at his knees, his stomach, or his nose. And Chinese people are really sensitive to cold exposure as it leads to many health problems. His second complaint, I just can't stop laughing, he says that the seat on the BYD has a vertical sewing line that runs along the middle. Normally we know that car seats have lines that run across the seat and are sewn in a way that you wouldn't feel it. But in this BYD car, that's where it fits like a thong, his words not mine, to the nether region. It cuts right through. And he thought that he had gotten hemorrhoids as it felt itchy and burning. Uh, Sir God says, is these, this the official CPP foreign policy channel? Yes, you're at a uh, official Chinese Communist Party out, uh, news outlet channel. What we do here is we spread the awareness of the, 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 the Chinese regime and we hope to farm some social credits on the way. That's exactly it. Yeah. So, that guy is hilarious. Uh, I have to raise my eyebrow. 
Yeah, so I had to say this. His words, not mine. Uh, I definitely don't have an experience knowing what it feels like. Uh, so definitely not my, uh, <laughs> definitely not my, my own experience. This one's going to hit hard among OnlyFans girls. Uh, what the heck? As a kid, that's how I found out. Tried a pair of my sisters. Oh my god. <laughs> EV, just wait a little longer and the car automatically becomes a combustion car. Exactly. That That's so right. <clears throat> if your EV car seats doesn't fit uh, your butt like a thong and give you hemorrhoids, you're even buying the right one. <laughs> that was a pretty good one. I remember loving that. Uh, the Chinese people are just as sensitive to cold exposure as every other human. There's a large chunk of northern China that gets pretty cold. Okay, a lot of people think I'm lying when I say that Chinese people are afraid of cold. Like, it's, a, it's an actual cultural thing. But there's literally, here, I'll show you. There's a literal, um, so China literally has a Chinese medicine scripture that talks about coldness. And so I'm not even joking when I say that, like, literally people are afraid of cold in China. It's a huge thing. So I actually, I was meant to do a cooking video a long ago, but I screwed that up because I had a GoPro hooked up to my, to my uh, body when I was cooking. And then here, let me grab my wok and I can show you. Give me a sec, I'll be back. Do you guys see this? Here, let me show it. I have a, I literally have my wok. I was cooking the other day, or that time when I was doing the video, and uh, but but I forgot to turn on the recording button <laughs> or click the recording button when I did it. So I I oh the realistic robot video yeah yeah I I've seen that that's crazy I should do one about that too, but they don't have a really good AI system. Chinese internet users found their next wailing wall. A video about Red Alert Two Yuri's Revenge has gone viral. So this was the one where uh, if you've ever played this game when you were younger, it's called Red Alert 2 Euro's Revenge. It's like a, uh, this world is just a video game pay to win and filled with microtransaction. You know, the game gets much harder when you reach level 18. What else is there? Imagine your life being so awful you relate to gulag inmates in a fictional hyper parody of Stalinist Russia. Exactly. Exactly. <clears throat> a random Chinese 29 year old realizing their real life is terrible from a game joking about communism. <laughs> uh, the second comment in the video by Chishar says, ignore that they speak English. Take note that they say uh, that they have black hair and yellow skin. Yep. Uncanny how an old RTS game like this still satires Chinese life under CCP rule. Exactly. Oh yeah, so a Blizzard, uh, they were really bad when it was like the Hong Kong protest. Like I believe they like banned a Hong Kong player or something in one of their games. I can't imagine the shock some of them must have felt to learn you're a slave from a video game. Exactly. The worst part is that the faction also used mind control and human bodies as power generators or resources. Oh my god, yes, exactly. That's crazy. I, I never really thought about that. You can actually donate your body for the power generation. That's so crazy. Is Yuri basically ahead of the, like the concept of Yuri, it's basically a reflection of today in China. I'm not your buddy, thanks for the $5, says just start the stream from the beginning, however, I wanted to say thank you for the work you do, cheers. Thank you so much. <laughs> Broken, malnourished, skinny worker, can I break and freedom? China says, nah. -uh. <laughs> the, the worst part is they can turn you into the brutes which is like they change your genes. And it's uh, hilarious because in China, they're also studying like gene weapons too, genetic weapons. Uh, so that's like the entire Yuri faction is basically communist China. Okay, last video, I, we're about to end the stream. So we'll do another one. Let me see here. Uh, let me know if you want this kind of stream more often where we just kind of have a chat and talk about things on Saturdays and um, just, just kind of relax. And sorry, th this haircut was just, uh, let, let me look at this though. China Fix Everything Part 9. This uh, damn, even slums here in the Philippines have more stable housing than that. That's crazy. I, I, I really want to visit the Philippines too. I really like uh, the Filipino people and the culture. So I really want to visit them. I had a, uh, a lot of friends growing up who are Filipino. Uh, China doesn't cut corners. They cut into triangles. That's a really funny comment. Okay.
Now it gets a like. Everyone for the last 20 years, China's going to be the next world superpower. China, buildings made out of dust and prop safety equipment. <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, might be water if we're lucky. Yeah, exactly. Uh, as an architect, this hurts me just by watching. But I bet it hurts engineers more. I, somebody commented a story how I think it was like their boyfriend who visited her in China and found the buildings were just like they didn't meet the construction standards. And she was so worried that something would like the building would collapse. Um, so that's pretty funny. For real, though, it was my favorite speech I've ever seen a president give. It was the night the United States killed the leader of ISIS. Trump comes out of the Situation Room at like midnight and gives a press conference like he's giving a post-game NBA <laughs> just killed a guy press conference. He goes, Abu Bakar al-Baghdadi is dead. He died like a dog. And I'm like, <laughs> I didn't change one word of that. That's what he opened with. And then he did 40 minutes. The speech is 40 minutes for no reason. It wasn't a prepared speech. He freestyled 40 straight. Not even a speech, just mean shit talk for 40. The meanest shit talk you've ever heard in front of the whole world. Abu. We could hear him crying, I said. Abu, don't cry. Abu. Let me tell you something. Abu cried. He cried quite a bit. I wouldn't have cried. <laughs> Cry baby back daddy, that's what we were all calling. <laughs> See, this guy's pretty funny. A uh, question from uh, a random user says, okay, I'm gonna repeat this question, but I think what's, what is your favorite video in the channel that you made right now? My favorite video that I've ever made, oh man. Uh, China faked everything part five. China fakes everything part five. This lady picked up her lobster, took a fail safe measure to break off one of the legs, only for it to return with all of the legs intact. Wow. Bait and switch, come on. It's a damn lobster and you still get lied to. What else? Well, Chinese people love eating hot pot and one of the dishes they love to eat is called duck blood. This video explores how fake duck blood is made with chemicals. It looks the same to layman's eyes. In this video, he shows the whole process of combining different chemicals to create the color, the shape, and the texture. He says you'd be lucky if you got pig blood instead of duck blood. Look at this, real duck blood has holes in it like cheese. The fake ones look like jello. That's not healthy. Well, there's more. How about Chinese Heisenberg making beef soup? There's no beef involved and there's no bone soup. Just pure chemical wonderland. Hey, Breaking Bad isn't just exclusive to the US and A. Now, people may think that additives are everywhere, not just in China. Well, you'd be lucky if they tell you there's additives. And you'd be luckier if whatever they say on the label is truly the things that's been added into the product. China fakes. So yeah, like you said, the, the, the best part about this was Chinese Heisenberg. I just, I thought that was hilarious because he was wearing all yellow and he clearly looked, and he had the straw hat on. I was like, this is Chinese Heisenberg. So funny. Uh, that's, that's my favorite video. Uh, also because the reason why I've made this one, <clears throat> so my original thought about the, uh, the whole China Fakes Everything series is that we have so many videos coming out of China that's fake. All you do is you compile them. You give a little bit of context and the stories just write themselves, you know? Uh, but then I started doing this, blah, 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 blah. And then at one point, I think this is like, I had done four or five videos up to this point. And then this is supposed to be episode five. And I was just like, what if I just started to search on TikTok, on, on uh, like the Chinese TikTok, Douyin, on a bunch of other platforms of videos of just the grossest things that they do with food. Uh, and then I found the Chinese Heisenberg video, which is hilarious. And so that that's why uh, I'm going <clears> to <throat> pause this guy here.